Okay, let's run through a very quick and unique Macabacus formatting tool that we use all the time here at CFI. It's up in the format dropdown and it's called Paintbrush. Paintbrush can be thought of as an enhanced version of Excel's native format painter, which is useful but not very advanced. Let's demonstrate how Paintbrush can really help us become better modelers. So let's say we have a section of this workbook that we need to format. These are actually percentages right here, but we can see the formatting is all messy. We could use Macabacus's standard percentage cycle to format these percentages, or since we already have a percentage format right here, we could copy it and then select and then paste special formats. That would be one manual way of doing it. Another manual way of doing it would be to use Format Painter, going up into Format Painter, pressing it, selecting that, then dragging it over, which would apply the percentage formatting to our target cells, or we can use Paintbrush. Paintbrush can be activated by first selecting the cell you would like to steal the formatting from, pressing Control alt shift c to store the formatting. Alternatively, you could do this manually by going into Macabacus, Format, Capture, Paintbrush, so we just captured. Highlight the cells you would like to apply the formatting to, then press Control shift alt p and that will paste in the formatting. Now we have nice percentage formatting. How this differs from the alternatives of Format Painter and just copying and pasting is, Macabacus will save that formatting kind of in its own silo. So say we wanted to create a new header and we copy using Control c this transaction summary, that's a native Excel functionality, it actually won't override the formatting we just stored with Format Painter. So we just copied and pasted that transaction summary. So we want to call this new schedule. Even though we just did that, now say we want to apply the price per share formatting to these prices down here. Let's use Paintbrush again, pressing Control Alt Shift C, and then now let's apply it to these cells, Control alt shift p and say we press it once, that goes to the one we just stored. If we press it again, it'll actually go to the percentage formatting that we stored earlier, so it's now housing two separate formats within it, and we can just cycle through those two. So now we have applied our dollar formatting. So this can be used in parallel to Excel's copy and paste. It's a lot more effective than Format Painter, because Format Painter, you can't store multiple formats, only one at a time. We can adjust our paintbrush settings up in settings. If you go configure, other, we can set our max paintbrush capture. So now, right now we've set a maximum of three. We could set that to five, and we could actually store five separate formats in the paintbrush. To conclude, Paintbrush is an amazing feature for storing formats for later use. Enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content? Then hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for all your support and we'll see you over in the next video.